Hey you guys, I created this look today. It's a little bit different. I actually recreated a look made by Jaclyn Hill a few months ago. She created basically this exact same look, but in her video she used the Color Rain Queen of Hearts palette. And watching the video I thought this entire look could be recreated using the colors in her palette with Morphe. So that's exactly what I did. I used a little bit of Pool Party, I used a little bit of Queen, Twerk, blended everything together. So if you want to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be starting with my eyes. I'm going to be using my Josie Moran Argan Oil all over my eyes. I'm setting this down as a base all over my eyelids. And then I just blend it out with my fingers. It makes it so that I have a smooth base all over my eyes to start applying my eyeshadow. I'm also taking that up into my brow bone and then the inner corner. Because I have a lot of dry skin like right in here. I want to put concealer on to prime my eyes for eyeshadow. It gets very flaky and the eyeshadow just doesn't stick as well. So that's what I started with. Going in with my Naked Concealer in Neutral Fair. I'm going all over my eyelids to prime. And then I'm using a Damp Beauty Blender to just blend everything in. Then using a translucent powder, any translucent powder would do, but I love using my Laura Mercier translucent powder. I'm setting all of that base. I'm using a big fluffy brush. I'm using my e.l.f. Tonal Face brush. And now the star of the show, I'm going in with the Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm so excited to use this again because, let's be real, what else would I use? So unfortunately, in the time between my last video and now, I lost a little card that said all of the shadow names on it for the Jaclyn Hill palette. But like a true hillster, I think I memorized most of, them. most of them. So I'm gonna go along with it, and hopefully I can name all of these. So first, I'm gonna be going in with Silk Cream and Made for Each Other, and I'm gonna put that all in my crease and the outer corner of my eye. I'm basically doing it step by step how Jacqueline did it in her video. So after she put the transition shade down, she went straight into the blue shade, but I want a little bit darker of a crease, so I think I'm going to go in with these colors here. I think they're Butter and Pooter? I think so. And those are just going to go right back into my crease at Outer B. And now using a flat shader brush, I'm going in with Pool Party. So I swiped all over to get that pavement on the brush and now I'm going to spray it with a little bit of my NYX Dewy Setting Spray to give it a little bit more kick. And now I'm just going to put it all in my inner corner. Now I'm using this kind of dome shaped dense brush from Sonia Kashuk. I'm going in with, I think the name of the color is Twerk. I could be completely wrong, but it's this shimmery purple. And the purple that Jacqueline used in her video was a matte, so I might go in with a matte purple from another palette. I'm going to see how I like this purple first. I'm just going to go straight into my outer corner and pack it in. So I'm starting really low with my lash line and I'm going to slowly bring it up. And as needed, picking up a little bit more and packing it right on. I like that I didn't use the setting spray for this one because as you can tell it's a lot less shimmery than Pool Party is right now and I like that. I like that it isn't so shimmery in my outer corner. But you can definitely make this color more shimmery if you were to use that setting spray. Thanks Jacqueline, you got me only. <gasps> I found it. My butt was looking for this for a week straight and I found it. Let me tell you, and I've gotten all the names right so far, I am ecstatic. And since I want it to be a little bit deeper in the outer corner, I'm going in with the Lorac Pro palette. It's very old and very, very used and loved. I'm going in with the deep purple color. I'm still going in with that dome shaped Sonia Kashuk brush. I'm gonna go back in with Butter and Pooter on my E25 Five Sigma and just blend around the edges of the shadow, kind of diffuse everything. So now for the middle of my eye, I'm going in with Queen, which is this gold right here. I'm packing that all over my brush. I'm using a flat shader again. Then I'm going to spritz that with my NYX Dewy Setting Spray again. I'm gonna pack this all over the middle of my eye.
Going back in with twerk on the Sony Fashion brush, I'm going to blend the space between the gold and the purple just to give it a lighter transition. Taking my E25 again, I'm just going to take butter, pruder, and silk cream very lightly and go over the edges all over again because as Jacqueline would say, no harsh lines. And since I lost a bit of the gold while I was blending away, I'm gonna go back in with that same flat shader brush, pick up the gold. This time I'm not gonna spray it and just pack it right back on top. I'm going back in with a little bit of pool party on a flat shader. When I first put it down, it really cut the crease nicely on the inner corner, but with blending I lost that, so I'm gonna try and get that back again. Now using a makeup wipe, I'm just going to clean up the little bit of fallout we have and sharpen this line. So now I'm just lightly curling my lashes just to prep them for falsies and then I'm going in with my L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara all over my top lashes so that they're black as night and you can't see them through my falsies. My air conditioner just went off so if you were wondering what that blowing foghorn noise was earlier, it was my air conditioning. For lashes, I'm going to be going in with the Samantha number no. 7 lashes from Huda Beauty. So I'm just going to pop these on and get right back. I think I actually got it the first try. Alright, so now that I'm done with the lashes, I'm going to go do the rest of my face and my eyebrows, and I'm going to come back to you so that I can do the rest of my eyes. Okay, so I just did my face and brows, so let's finish the eyes. In order for all of these colors to blend together seamlessly on my lower... My, my air conditioner just turned on. Sorry. But I'm going to basically put all the colors on top on my lower lash line. So in order for all of these colors to blend seamlessly together, I'm going to start with the transition shades. I'm using silk cream and butter, tapping off as much excess as possible and just putting that very tight against my waterline all the way across. First, I'm going to take twerk on a flat shader brush and put that right up against my lower lash line in the outer corner. Then with another flat shader, I'm going back into Queen and putting that in the middle of my waterline. And then finally, with another flat shader, I'm using like 10 million, going in with Pool Party. And then with whatever remaining transition shade I have on my E25, I'm just going to blend everything together. And then finally, I'm going to highlight my inner corner using Beam. I'm just going to put that right on the inner corner. So I'm going to line my lips using my NYX Slim Lip Pencil in Nude Pink. So now that my lips are lined, I'm going to be going in with 920 Nude Lust. This is by Maybelline, and I'm going to put that all over my lips. And then to finish everything off, I'm going to spray my face with my NYX Dewy Setting Spray. This is my favorite part. Whew. Okay, you guys, so this is the finished look. I absolutely love how the eyes turned out. I think everything blended seamlessly together, but the pigment is still there. Thank you so much for watching. If you want, please subscribe, like this video. I love reading comments from other beauty YouTubers uplifting me and complimenting my videos. It, make, it means the world to me, and I love to check your channels out and subscribe and like your videos. Supporting each other is such a big thing to me, and it means the world to me that you guys support me and look at my videos. But yeah, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys liked it. I can't wait to create more. Thanks. Bye.